Hey everyone, it's Closy here and today I am going to do a haul of the things I bought in London. I have a bag from Waterstones here that I have taken everything out of. That's actually books from Waterstones and the things from Hairspray that I've got. And then I have here a Harry Potter bag that had my Harry Potter things in, some Disney experience things in and then a Miss Ellie bag in as well as well everything's all out here so I'm gonna start with hairspray because why not so the first thing I got was my program my hairspray program it is gorgeous it is beautiful it is amazing I love it the next thing I got from hairspray was this if I can get into it Michael Ball Hairspray Edna Turn Blood Cup. I am so sorry for the lighting right now. It is beautiful, it is gorgeous, it is great, it is graceful. I'm just gonna put the tissue paper back into it for now. And finally, the last thing I got from Hairspray was this Ultra Clutch Thankfully t shirt. I love the colour of it. I, I like this colour anyway. It's like a nice baby blue. And ultra clutch. Um, so, yeah. So, that, that's what I got from Hairspray. Okay. So, I'm just editing the video for, my, for the haul that you're watching at the minute. And I've bought two more things from Hairspray online. Because I couldn't get them in the shop. And I wanted to get them when they were there. Unfortunately, they're sold out. They've now got them back in. So I have two new things, which I'm excited to show you. I'll open this one first. I have already opened it to check that they're all okay, and they are. So the first thing that I've got is this magnet, because I collect, as well as pin badges, I kind of like collect magnets. And it matches the cup that I've got, which I'm quite excited about. So that is going on my radiator. Oh, I love that noise. Right, and then the next thing, is this big tube here. Now, some places like Mamma Mia and Wicked sell posters of their show's um, logos. So that is what Hairspray has done. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. I know you can't see it all, but we're just gonna have to figure out a way to do that. That's the best way I can do it. Oh, look at it! This, this, mm, it's such a big poster. I'm got, I've got a wicked one. That one's up on my doll with blue tack, and I've got a Mamma Mia one as well. I now have a hairspray one, which is quite exciting. So I think what I'm gonna do. Let me take you with me for a sec. What I'm thinking of doing is taking down this big Ben here above my um, dressing table. I'm putting the Mamma Mia and the Hairspray poster up. I might even take the Wicked poster off my door and put it up there as well in a frame. But that's what I'm thinking of doing. So yeah, back to the video now. All exciting. Love it to pieces. Um, the next thing I will show you is what I got from Miss Ellie. So Miss Ellie is a stall in Covent Garden Market. And they do these lovely ballet kind of dance t-shirts. All my t-shirts need ironing like. I've bought but I bought this t-shirt which is of a ballet dancer on point and it says born to dance on one side and I love it it is amazing it is also one of my favorite colors so I'll be wearing this to dancing and to college and things which is really exciting okay went to the theater cafe how could I not and I got two cups so I got this lovely Wicked Cup, one of the very first shows I ever saw in London was Wicked, so it brought back so many memories. And the other one I got was Mary Poppins. Look at it. It's an amazing cup. It says practically perfect in every way along the top. I love it. Uh, it's going to go with my collection of cups that I already have, which is this Come From Away one. And this When the Curtain Falls one, which is a book done by Carrie Hart Fletcher. So that's all exciting. And finally, the last quite a few things I have to show you. Oh, not yet, not yet. 
So I got these from the Disney Experience. They are Mary Poppins colouring in sheets. I am a big fan of colouring things in. It's very therapeutic to me. And um, I'm sure my cousin all wants to do some colouring as well. So I'll photocopy some of them for her and everything. We can have a good time. Right, before we go on, just a quick thing. If you aren't subscribed, why not? Do it already. Join, join the community, join the family that I have created over here, join the safe space and the safe corner of the internet away from the worries of the world. Come join me, come hop in, it's a great time. Um, if you want to comment anything you'd like to see on my channel, because I don't really know what I want to do at the minute, I know I want it to be musical theatre based, so singing, dancing, acting, vlogging, anything you want to see, let me know in the comments. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Let's continue. And right, finally, the last thing is Harry Potter. I couldn't have gone to Harry Potter without spending money. So I spent money. The first thing I spent money on at the experience were green screen pictures. So if you, you can take a picture riding a broom, you can take a picture for your Ministry of Magic identification card. So this is what it comes in if you order the identification um, card. It's this lovely purple it says ministry of magic and you open it up and you have your picture there on the inside and you can fill out your little form there and if you go on to like the back it has like your fingerprint registration things these aren't actually your fingerprints it's just what they already have posted on there it's a nice cute little thing to have uh it also if you if you just order your identification card you do get oh no not that one it's this one you do get it in a big frame like this as well you get it like that which i think is actually really nice that you can have it like that or you can have it as one of these which i love and then i also had to get one of me on the broomstick duh so this is me flying over london as Death Eaters are also in the background flying over London. Can't be a Slytherin, can I? Can't be a Slytherin without the Death Eaters following me. <laughs> we don't like those. We don't like Death Eaters. They're really evil people. Evil. Too evil for my liking. Well, let me put all that back. The next thing I got were these two magnets. I have taken them off their backs already because they were quite. the backs were quite hard to come get off because it had these sticky bits on dropping it but i got myself a slithering one which at first i thought was a um pin badge just a bigger version of a pin badge but it's not it is a magnet it does actually say a magnet on the bottom i just wasn't reading and then the other one i got was this hogwarts crest one this lovely hogwarts crest and they are both going right next to each other on my radiator along with the rest of my collection including things from Eden Camp, Friends Fest, musicals, Madame Tussauds, Seasides, things like that. The next thing I got was this lovely spinning Slytherin keyring because of my house. We love Slytherin life so I think I'm off to put that on like my pencil case to go to college or something. Because it's cute. I like it. I bought it because I like it. And it's off to actually be used. The next thing, I collect pin badges. So, of course, I had to get one that I've always wanted, which is the Slytherin Prefect Pin Badge, which is all exciting. I don't take my pin badges off their backs because then it gives them more worth if they stay on their backs. It gives them more worth later in life. And then, because they have the bottled butter beer bar, that's a mouthful. Um, at the photographic experience they had Mina Lima design a bunch of um, bottle openers and pin badges and magnets and key rings and design the entire bo bottled butter beer logo and things and they designed this lovely bottle top lid if you don't know who Mina Lima are they are the um, props designer for Harry Potter so they got they designed all of this and it's on a pin badge it's in a little bag which will make it worth a bit more money 
Not that I would ever want to sell them because they are my life's worth. And finally, oh no, not even finally. I'm not even done yet. Oh gosh. I got this lovely um, notebook. It's a platform. Come on, focus. Focus, please. Anyway, it's a platform nine and three quarters, which is embedded there, notebook, with this red tie and pendant on the bottom that also says platform nine and three quarters on either side. It looks like it's a very useful notebook. Um, it's faux leather and it has pages that look just like parchment from um, Hogwarts. So I'm going to use this for important things I need to write about. And finally, we're finally getting there, people. I keep forgetting that I've bought so much. I bought two books from Waterstones. Not exciting, I know, but I love Waterstones. I love reading books. Right now I'm reading Little Women because I've never read it before, but I have watched the movies. So I'm reading Little Women, see what they took out the movies, see what they kept in the movies. I love doing things like that. But I'm also a very big fan of murder mystery books. So this murder mystery book I got is called Murder by the Book which is about a murder that has taken place and clues are hidden inside diff the pages of different books. Or they might be, be red headings, who knows? That was red herrings, if you didn't catch that. My accent, I'm sorry. And then this other one I got is called Pretty as a Picture. So it's a film editor that has been invited to the work for the legendary director Tony Rees, not an actual person, and soon discovers that nothing on set is as it seems and somebody dies. And the only problem is there may be a killer on the loose and they have to discover the murder and who the murderer is. So I'm quite excited to get those read. But that is everything I bought from my London trip. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, Leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what else you'd like to see on my channel. And I hope to see you all again soon. Bye-bye now.